quick one. Let me show you how to draw or place an angular dimension and also angle on your elevation or anywhere else on your project. Okay, for this now, I want to get the dimension of this particular facade. And this also, I want to get the dimension, okay? Now, I'm going to show you this. Yeah, you just click dimension, click this point and click this point, okay? Then you right click. So you can see this is what it does. But what you do is just take your dimension, hover it around this angle and it would align. Then you click and drag. Okay. But before you do that, make sure this is activated. Okay. Make sure this here is activated. If you do this, it will be restricted to just vertical and horizontal dimension. But if you do this, when you hover it around angular stuff, any angular line, it will take that, sh that shape. Okay. And you do the same thing here. You can see it is, is just restricting us to just um, vertical and horizontal. But when you go around this angle, then it will align and you drag and then you place it. So the next thing I want to show you also is how to place angle, okay? You want to know the degrees, right? So you just click this. First thing you do, you click here and click the first, any one, any of this angle, D here or here, okay? Then you just click this line. Secondly, you click this point again, and then you come again and click this line. Then you, you see this will change to something like a hammer or something. Then you just click here. It will give you the degrees of this angle. Same thing here. Then you click here. You click any of this or this. Let's click this for instance. Then you go back here and click this angle. And then you click this again. Then you see your... But make sure you're, you're, you're picking the right point, right? If you, you can see, I'm not picking the right point, but let's just place it so you see that it will start from that point i clicked then you just drag you can easily drag it i think we can easily drag but if we can't drag you can you can do it again let's do it again click this click this click one line go back here at the point click and click here again okay then you place so you can see it's actually 28 degrees. So thanks guys. Thanks for watching.